what I always try and encourage advisors to do is to engage so the clients don't just give with their heart, but to give with both their heart and their head. And that is by making sure they're gifting with appreciated property or capital assets, things like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, exchange traded funds, or business interests. And the real benefit for that is if you write a check to charity, assuming you're itemizing, you get that, that charitable tax deduction, that one kind of deduction. Whereas if you're gifting those appreciated assets, like I mentioned, not only are you getting that deduction, you also have the ability to avoid any kind of capital gains tax liability. So the client would be afforded to take two deductions or two tax advantages instead of one. But the real value here is that you're converting capital gains into the charitable gains for the organizations that your clients are caring about. So let me walk you through an illustration of what the savings might look like. In this particular scenario, we have someone in the 35% income bracket, who's also subject to the 20% capital gains rate in addition to the Medicare surtax. So on the right-hand side, if you look here, you can see that this individual purchased a security at 15,000. It's now appreciated to 45,000. So if they were to sell that and write a check to charity, they would be on the hook for the $7,140 in capital gains tax. With the remaining $37,860, they write a check to charity, which would give them an income tax savings of about $13,251. Not bad, but instead of writing the check after tax, why not gift the securities outright to the charity or utilize a donor advice fund? So on this particular example, you can see when they make that gift, they don't have to pay anything in capital gains tax liability. It's important to know that these are long-term shares, so you wouldn't be subject to the capital gains. They would get a full fair market value deduction on the date of the transfer for the charity, and then giving the client an income tax deduction of $15,750. So you can see that they've saved more on their income taxes. One of the best ways I've ever heard an advisor I work with share this with a client is they ran through one of these calculations and they circled the capital gains tax that they had saved and they asked the client the question is there any charity you care about more than the irs and kind of everyone chuckled in the room but the reality is is that money that would have gone uh, in the form of capital gains tax can now be better utilized for a cause that your clients care about 